physical education major here at Central, last semester finishing up, and I uh, am required to do a, a lesson on health, and I uh, get videotaped, and also, also maybe become a movie star, who knows if the video goes well. So, uh, but today, I'd like for, for your help, you know, so pay attention, we'll be learning something maybe you guys covered already, maybe you didn't, maybe you covered it, but you didn't pay attention. So it's a little uh, review and help, right? Uh, so, bioenergetics, any idea what it means? Bio means life and energetics generally just means energy, so living energy. I think he's right. Otherwise, you refer to as the human digestive system. Right, anybody, anybody agree with that? Bio means life, energetic means energy. Yeah, exactly, so it's basically the energy of our life, energy of our body, right? So, like you said, metabolism, was that a hand up? Did you play soccer when I was in high school? Yes, I did. You're good. Yeah? Oh, thanks. Anyways, uh, if you want an autograph after class, <laughs> So anyways, anybody know what the actual term of bioenergetic is? A process that converts substrates such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, and there's one more thing, into energy. Anybody know the other thing that turns into energy besides carbs, fats, and protein? Sugar. ATP. ATP is what they get converted into, right? So all these things, ATP is energy in your body, but these things they are converted through bioenergetic. There's one more thing. Vitamins. Something that college students like to think it's cool to do on Thursday nights. Okay. Alcohol. Exactly. Whether it's cool or not, who knows? But uh, it's not up there, but alcohol also has calories, right? Anybody ever hear the term calories? Kilocalories? Yeah. What is a calorie? Anybody know? A unit of food energy. A unit of? Food energy. Is he right? Yeah. A food energy? Right. It's a unit of measurement to measure energy. Anybody know how they came up with a calorie? Like, what is a calorie? What it takes to figure out what a calorie is? Anyone? I don't know. No one? All right. Well, that's why I'm here today. Right. And like you said, you said ATP. Right, so all these things, they get broken down into simpler forms into our body so that they can then get transported into our cells to become ATP. Now ATP means adenosine triphosphate, which tri means three, so it's basically three things of phosphate combined together. So all those things, they break down to convert into phosphate broken down together. Now kilocalorie, like you said, my friend here said energy. Exactly, but the exact definition of a kilocalorie is enough the amount of energy needed to raise the temperature of one kilogram of water for one degree. How do they do that? Do they burn something? I'll actually show you in one second. You're getting ahead of us, but that's good. Anyways, right? So think about that. It's kind of crazy. If your bar, a Snickers bar, has 100 and something calories, that means if you burn that Snickers bar, it's going to raise a hundred, uh, one kilogram of water 100 and something degrees. Right? Pretty interesting. Here's how it works. They have this thing. A sealed container with water, one kilogram of water. They put another airtight container inside there with food. Through ignition wires, they light it up, burn it, however many temperatures the water goes up. That's how many calories do. Now, whether they do that to every single food, like they take a, a <coughs> bag of potato chips and throw it in there, who knows, me, but the, I, I seem to think they just do it with the ingredients, you know, different ingredients, then maybe they just measure it up. So, so they calculate the ingredients. Yeah, they probably use some calculations in there. That's why math is important. So, um, energy sources. Right. So we said before, what were the four substrates that convert to energy in our body? Fat, carbs, protein, and alcohol. Fat, carbs, protein, and alcohol. Is that right? You said is that your final answer? You said three minutes ago. Is that his <laughs> final answer? Anybody have anything to change about that? No? Don't please contradict me. No? No, I'm, you're right. I'm not saying it wrong. He's correct. I'll see if anyone wants to get involved. Everybody's like dead. It's 145. You guys didn't eat or something. The teachers always got there for speaking out. Oh, don't worry. You can speak out. Raise your hand, though. We also want to get other people involved as well, you know? That's why we're here. We're here to learn. So, anyways. So, all those substrates, carbs, CHO stands for carbohydrates, get broken down. Carbs gets, gets broken down into this little thing called glucose. Anybody here know someone with diabetes? All right? What do they measure constantly? Um, insulin. Who's there? Blood sugar. Right? They use insulin to control their blood sugar, but they measure with, by pricking their finger, they measure their glucose level, which means blood sugar. 
Now, so these carbs, so anything that's basically sugary, pasta, rice, stuff like that, it contains carbs, and that carbs gets broken down into glucose, which then can be transported to your cells, which then can become ATP. So we can use that as energy. So what does carbs come out as in your body? What does it turn into? Glucose, right? It's a form of sugar. Which is blood sugar. Exactly. So glucose for carbs. Next. There we go. Carbohydrates again. So glucose and glycogen. Glycogen is a form of stored glucose. So as, as glucose gets stored in your muscles or your liver, so glycogen then gets converted back into glucose to be used. Lipids. Any idea what lipids mean? A fancy term for anyone. The building blocks of fat. Building blocks of fat. Anyone back there? You agree? Yeah. You guys yeah. laughing? It's funny, right? I know, right? Building blocks of fat. I was cracking up when I made this actually. Amino acids are the building blocks of muscle. That's, that's true. It's true. <laughs> so free fatty acids. Lipids are fats, exactly. That gravy hanging off your side, we can call that lipids. You know, maybe not everybody knows, so it's not as bad, right? So, fats get broken down into free fatty acids. They're basically a string of three carbon strings connected together, and then your body breaks them up so they're just by themselves, and then your body can use it as energy. Back again to get transported to ATP. So lipids are fats. And fats are broken down into what? Free fatty acids. There you go. F F A S. And uh, this is just so shows that you don't need that. A protein. My friend here said that the building blocks of our muscle is amino acids. Anybody got anything to say about that? Is that true? I have more to say on it, but that's a story for a later discussion. Yes, story for a later discussion, well said. Anyways, protein is what amino acids are. So we intake protein. Anybody here go to the gym? Ever see those big tanks of protein? Anybody go do that? Walk? You ever see a commercial? Maybe go to the mall, Vitamin World, GNC? Yeah, um, yeah that's right. A lot of people think that that's all protein is, is powder. No. Well, not really. Protein comes from food. Right, and they take that protein, make it the powder for people who want to waste their money. Right, <laughs> it's true. Anyways, now protein gets down, broken into, like you said, amino acids, so that our body can use it as energy to make it into ATP. So we got carbs get broken down into glucose. Fats get broken down into free fatty acids, lipids, fancy term. Uh, protein gets broken down into? Amino acids. Amino acids. That's right. Somebody with a weird accent might say amino acids. But that's fine. I'm going to say that. A-M-I-N-O-S. So anybody know how many calories are in each of these substrates? Anyone? Anyone want to take a wild guess? Or just look at the board and say it. <laughs> Alexa, you raise your hand. Yes. Good job. How many? Alcohol is seven, right? So if you ever notice, you ever hear the term freshman 15, right? Freshmen come in, start partying, drinking all the stuff, and then they get bloated. Why? Because alcohol is a lot of calories, besides all the junk food you're eating, you know? So, like we said, so if you were to take one gram of carbohydrates and burn it inside of water, it would increase it by how many temperatures? By how many degrees? Four degrees. How many? Four degrees, right? Exactly. And then nine for fats, four for proteins, and seven for alcohol. All right. And uh, that's it. Well, right, anyways, one thing you forgot to mention one on the thing other I side, what? just just for their sake, about um. Sorry, I forgot something. Yeah. The stuff. Oh yes, yes. Okay. Anybody know what kind of exercises burn what kind of substrates? What? All right. Aerobic exercise, that's running, heart racing mm -hmm. things, okay. burns primarily fats. Why? Because that's the first, one of the first, probably one of the first thing you burn when you go uh, Longer, less intense exercises, right? So if somebody runs, they run for a long time. So if you see those marathon runners, 
They're pretty skinny, right? They burn, they utilize carbohydrates and fat. Now if you're doing for just a short, intense, like interval training, anybody ever hear that? No. High intensity interval training, you know, like P9DX, that intent, and, and Sammy, Brazilian bum bums, right? You see those? Brazilian what? Brazilian bum good workout, man. Whatever. I was checking out the commercials. Uh, anyway, so short, intense activities use carbs, right? They use them pretty fast. Longer, less intense. We also use carbs, but then we start burning that fat. Because you think about it, fat, you get nine calories for one gram. In carbs, you only get four, so that means you take a lot more to burn one gram of fat than you take to burn calories. I mean, grams. I mean, carbohydrates. <laughs> that's why fat's really hard to burn. But that's why we gotta work out for longer to burn that fat. Anything else you forgot? No, I think that's it. Cool. So, uh, just for uh, purposes of this, if I could have everybody take out a piece of paper and just number one to nine, right? You know, and this is this is for your own good. Okay. What? Yeah, you're gonna hand it to me. Well, you will get extra credit though, as bony points, bony, uh, brownie points, <laughs> bony points, brownie points, with me and this dairy team. Does that turn into gray points? Eventually, if you, if you leave the brownies out, they turn gray. Do we put yes. our name on it? You don't have to put your name on it. Just number one through nine. Everybody know how to count? To one to nine. I better. Right. If you want to do it in a different language. That's fine. Depends on what uh, depends on what area you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. If you uh, you can write the number in a different language, because the answer I won't understand, unless it's in English or Spanish or Portuguese. So. All right. Let me know when you're ready by uh, being quiet, because if you're talking, that means you're communicating about what to do with a piece of paper. All right. Cool. So everybody's ready, right? One to nine. Nice. Here we go. We're going, we're almost there. Alright, simple questions. Number one, what is bioenergetic? Bioenergetics. If we don't know, we can just skip it. <laughs> if you leave it blank, that's fine. Right? But think about it, just break down the name, man. Break down the name. Break down the name. Number two, during short term intense activities, what does the body use for energy? Easy stuff, we just covered it 15 seconds ago. This is like the easiest, easiest quiz ever, because we just covered it. Number three, during long-term activities, right? Like my friends say, running, marathon runners and stuff, what kind of energy does the body use? I mean, what does the body use for energy? One of those substrates. Number four, what are lipids? Lipids. Right, right. Easy one. Number five, what are fats stored as in your body? Remember? It's a three <coughs> carbon chain. You get three. Three. Uh, number six, what are carbohydrates stored as? Number diabetes. Right? Where do they check for that? And no cheating here. Come on, you're not even getting a grade on this. Good <laughs> stuff. RNH what? What? For number nine. RNH what? RNH. All four of them. So how many are in each? They are in a gram of protein, how many are in a gram of carbs, how many are in a gram of alcohol, and a gram of fats. Number seven, what is protein stored as? Number eight, what is the kilocalories? So describe what it actually is, you know, remember the water and food and food, that's all good. And number nine, how many kilocalories are in each? You know, so the four substrates, the fats, the carbs, the protein, and the alcohol. There you go. Right. 